how many times I have seen people that gotta get beat up, and it's like I could get them beat up. Like I said, I could give a look. Let me be a bigger person. Happiness party, I, I recommend that. Go on the 20th. The Golden and Sexy concert for the older folk uh, happening on the 23rd. One day call on the 24th. Bears on the 24th. Fly time, of course, on the 25th. Like I said, I'm, I was also all black everything on the 25th as hey, usual. Jesus. Kiss Daniel on the 26th. Kiss Daniel on the 26th. Two Face Live on the 28th. On this video, I'm going to be giving you a starter pack. Seven major tips to make sure you clear, cancel, and check for your trip to Nigeria in December to be successful. guys welcome to my channel my name is stephanie i'm a london-based content creator if this is your first time here thank you so much for clicking please subscribe so you join my family and make sure you click the bell so you always get my notifications if this is not your first time welcome you're already family everybody watching right now please click the thumb up button it really helps those videos december is literally the best time to come to nigeria guys so i'm sure a lot of you have plans to come even if you don't have plans to come i'm sure you have friends or family who have plans to come so make sure you share this video with them this might also be relatable to a trip to ghana or some other African country so grab your pen your paper or your phone notebook and let's get going so the first thing guys an itinerary you should have a list of things you want to do as the year has been going you might have been looking at Instagram seeing places you know I like to see, uh, visit this place and I go oh, oh my god is this place tonight yes those places, write them down. There might also be places you want to shop. Maybe you intend to buy Niger fashion, African fashion. Also, um, there might be locations you'd have seen that look so far, but you're like, oh, I need to shoot in this place. You know, just those iconic places. I when I was in Nigeria, I actually did a photo shoot in some strategic places. I'm going to put a link to that video there so you can see if you want to visit these places. Like Find Tropicana, the Jacode um, Arts and Craft Market, Nikea Gallery. There are so many lovely places to visit. So just make sure you write a list of these places and then you can go to that my video to get a guide of that as well. And Another thing you should remember on your itinerary is people you want to link up with. There are obviously a lot of um, connections to be made in this period, a lot of networking. Maybe you have plans on coming to Africa later. This is the best time to go and link up with people. So, you know, chilling, having fun with people is a very nice way to actually break the ice and start good, sensible, useful relationships. The last thing I'll talk about the itinerary and the events. This is a very, very important factor up to the fact that I'm going to give you guys a list of events I got from someone's channel at the end of this video. The next thing, guys, have two or three plugs. And I don't mean plug to charge your food. Receive. I mean plugs as in, in human form. Receive. So a plug of to, on the trip to Nigeria is someone, maybe you're going to stay with the person or the person is someone who's going to give you a guide when you're there. So your plug is very essential. Most of these things on your list, your plug is going to make them happen, especially when you push them well. So two or three plugs, people you've kept in touch with while you were out there, you know, people who you have just been talking to saying, I want to do this, I want to do it. Your plug is going to give you like a good, um, like local based information relating to achieving your dreams and ensuring you have an excellent time during your visit to Nigeria. Your plug can also be the person you're staying with. I don't know, you might not want to stay in a hotel because that would obviously reduce your cost. So your plug can be someone who has a car as well. Plug is, might be someone who you're going to attend these events with because guys, going out to places with people <laughs> is an understatement if I tell you it is so necessary. And then this your plug one or two three plugs please buy them gifts don't come with your empty hand all the way from wherever you're coming from and say you have a plug who's going to ar arrange your stay night and you didn't give them a gift please be nice and generous even that gift get some extra things you know just go to all this one or two shops keep things around just for friends or anybody who you see ah, what do you bring for me what do you bring for me what do you bring for me yeah what do you bring apple pie cranberry sauce Damn. I do it. next i would say is your wardrobe so obviously I don't know where you're coming from, the weather is like from where you're coming from, right now it's winter so we're all wearing jackets, wearing total necks, wearing everything, Niger is warm, Niger is summer all year though there's a bit of hamatan depending on where you stay, if you go to the north yeah, it could be really really cold in the morning, generally when people come to Nigeria they either come Lagos, Potakot, um, Abuja, Calabar, you know places like that so those things are really really warm. So for ladies, get lovely dresses and then based on your itinerary, on the events you think you're going to be attending, bring things for that as well. Just have enough, like maybe one item per day and then a bit of extras because Nigeria can be extra. You can just be somewhere. You guys are now going for one wedding that you didn't even plan or things like that. So just make sure you're always on point. And then this is your mouth, eh? arrange it for when did you get back? 
So just be ready for your answer. When did you get back? When are you going back? When did you get back? When are you going? You know that. When did you get back? 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 Yeah. Listen, man. I just got back. You get me? You got me. No I just got back. So. First thing, guys, is your means of transportation. Right now in Nigeria, we have Uber, we have Taxify. I think there's something called Bolt as well. So whenever you're going somewhere, you just make a point of habit to text someone and let them know where you're going. Let them know, you know, who's taking you and stuff like that, just for the security of things. Some of the Ubers, you actually pay in cash. It's not everything that goes with the app. So yeah, that's funny. But then again, it's really, really affordable. And another thing with your plug, if your plug is someone who drives and stuff like that, yeah, that could be really good for you as well. You might want to hire a car yourself to drive. I don't know how that happens, but these are things you should ensure you already know how you're going to do before you go next guys that is your power bank Receive. the power bank is obviously an item that you use to charge your food while you're buying that power bank you can even get an extension cable as well because electricity is not something we have to for seven if you're not staying in a hotel you might want to charge your phone and your power bank every time you're charging so that's really really important because obviously if you use like most of these smartphones now they don't last for the whole day due to the fact that you're just visiting you might want to take a lot of pictures you might have to make a lot of calls so your power bank is something that you should get and make sure you have if you want to even have to it depends on how your phone runs or how you want to use your phone you should have to about your plug and things they're going to get for you another thing is a sim card if your person can help you register a sim card that would be really good because usually in Nigeria now you can't just buy a sim card you have to get it registered so if your plug <laughs> is up to it they can buy you a sim card advise you on the network to use and so immediately you come you can just change your sim card and you can make local calls easily the most important point now guys is your budget Receive. make sure you have a budget of what you want to spend when you come to Nigeria Due to the fact that the Naira is probably lower than most of other currencies that, you know, you guys might have, you, you want to be doing lao lao spending, spending any hour, spending, just have a budget of your own currency. When you come, change it to Naira. Whatever that can do for you, let it do for you. But be very careful with overspending. Try to carry cash. Uh, though you can use your card in a lot of ATMs. You can use your card in a lot of restaurants. But always try to have cash, a bit of cash, because it's really handy. Like, you never know where you have to pay a bit of cash for something. So always try to have it. And then if you want to have a Nigerian account, just in case maybe you're going to be you're, you get in trouble and someone leads you to the ATM with something, I don't know. Just put a little money in the Naira account. But just have a budget, guys. You can't come on holiday, especially the guys. When girls come on holiday, we actually have fun. You rarely see a girl taking one million people to go and drink in one random place. But guys, uh -uh, he has come back. This person has come back. Uh, everybody will not be drinking randomly and expecting you to handle the bill. So just be careful. Know you have a life you're coming back to. And yeah, just have a budget and work strictly with it people have sweet smiles especially when you come back once in a while people have sweet smiles so just be careful last thing i'm going to say is your heart Big US, five first, ten. a lot of people when they are out of nigeria and um, are coming back everybody's open you know like you know when you say summer body we're getting ready for summer body i've heard here in nigeria december is the summer body time so everyone is just ready to mingle be open and do whatever so just be really careful with um and you might have been talking to someone before you got back there yes, i don't dare wait for you my charge just open your eyes well i just know that a lot of people are out there to have fun at uh, this period so yeah just i don't know just restart but just know that a lot of nonsense uh, just capable of happening so basically these are all the things i think are really really crucial a few points i've mentioned uh, i think when you're getting the nigerian visa if you don't have a nigerian passport you have to take like malaria um shots and all those health care shots and stuff like that i just know that there's mosquitoes in nigeria so be careful when you're sleeping at night or just know you can also treat it so you can take some people take um pre anti pre malarial drugs or like something like precaution i don't know it just depends on your system and um your gp so just make sure you get health advice relating to malaria um another thing i'll say is the water the water in nigeria is not good like a lot of people where they're coming from you can drink water directly from the tap in nigeria no like even your bottled water make sure of the brand that's another thing your plug is going to help you with the brand of water you're actually drinking and taking in if you have a tummy that is sensitive because as i said when you're planning your itinerary you might have a list of things you want to make sure you eat you know all your suya shawarma kilishi 
whatever it is you're eating guys just know that your tummy could run so whatever it is you take when you have runny tummy make sure you have that as well or just be sure of what you're eating how it was cooked how it was prepared just so that you don't come and fall ill during your trip it wouldn't even be worth it it would be so annoying if there are things you planned on taking back when you're going as you settle in start working on those things because being in nigeria and having a fun time in nigeria Constitute of having spontaneity as well. There are a lot of things you did not plan to do that you're going to do. So those things you plan to do, those things you plan to take back, start getting ready, working towards um, get, grabbing and taking them back. I was watching Baby and Tools channel the other day off air with Baby and Tools and then Baby listed a, th a list of things that can, are happening in Nigeria. Right now, Cardi B is in Nigeria. Like, you guys, I was supposed to have done this video soon so that some of you will be ready. But you can see that Nigeria, as I told you, it is the latest place to be in December. So here are some of the events according to Bemi. Is, let's say December 5th, for example. There's something called Alternate Sound Live. Cardi B is coming to Lagos on Cardi the 7th. Oh, um, Mary Beth is doing some events. Uh, Johnny Drill is having his Abuja event called Johnny's Room on the 8th. Uh, there's the formal brunch out also on the 8th. On the 13th, the 14th, and 15th, Mayor Kuhn is doing something. It's called Mayor Fest. Shout out to Mayor Kuhn. So He showed out too. Yeah, so check out that. Uh, Lady Donnelly is doing something in Abuja on the 14th. 14th and 15th, we've got Burner and Whiskey in Abuja. Uh, 15th is World Live. Also, the 15th is Island Block Party, which lots of people go to. Then Tenny Live is happening on the 16th. Lady Donnelly is doing something again on the 17th and the 18th. Zlatan is doing something on the 18th. Native Land on the 19th. Happiness Party, I, I recommend that. Go on the 20th. Copacabana happening on the 20th as well. Now, from the 20th to the 25th is flight time. 20, first. 21, 22, 23, 25. Yeah, flight time first. That's when they have all the artists from Meg the Stallion to uh, Coffee to Boys yeah. to Men. And they're going to announce some And Mace. Soon. Yeah, Mace and as well. Uh, there's something on the 20th to the 23rd called The Exchange. The Grown and Sexy concert for the older folk uh, happening on the 23rd. One Day Call on the 24th. Bears on the 24th. Fly time, of course, on the 25th, like I said. I'm also all black everything on the 25th, as hey, usual. Jesus. Kiss Daniel on the 26th. Two Face Live on the 28th. Palm Wine Fest on the 28th. On the 28th and 29th is Eat, uh, Eat Drink Lagos's um, thing that they have. And then Future is coming on the 29th. Naramali is on the 30th. Future is, Future is coming on the 29th. Anyway, there's so many events. I'm sure we've missed out a few. So basically, it's packed and there's something yeah. for everyone. Yeah. If you're outside, there's something for you. If you are, you know, whatever, if you're a Malian, there's something for you. Put a link to the, that this particular episode so you can go there to just see their banter. It's really nice. All in all, make sure you have for the Nigeria. Thank you so much for watching this episode. Whether or not you enjoyed, click the thumb up button. Subscribe as well so you can join my family because we are family. We are And then drop a comment because I really love to read from you guys. Enjoy your stay in Nigeria. See you on the next episode. Bye bye.